Dakota is tenacious. He sees a problem, and until that problem is resolved, he's not gonna let up. He is going to be resilient. So Dr. Dakota, in my opinion, is a very unique individual. Very calm, very collective. He can think outside of the box. He has some of the most brilliant ideas. He's one of the smartest people I know. And you can tell that it's a calling for him. He takes it personal. Like he thinks everybody deserves a chance. Dr. Coda and Dr. Jalela go out into the community to see patients as well as see them here in the cancer clinic and see if they are deemed eligible as a transplant candidate. As of now, we are doing two places. Dr. Jalela goes to Columbia, which is an hour from us. Uh, I go to Athens, which is two hours from us. We are exploring two other sites. Patients that are in the outer lying areas, the needs tend to be greater. A lot of people that live in smaller towns away from here, they don't have a lot of trust in medical professions in general, right? So I think they've been able to work in getting these patients here through their outreach because they're going there. That assurance, that, that partnership is really important to the confidence that the patient is going to get the best care. We have known that there are disparities in cancer and in other medical conditions, not just cancer alone. I think that's what has been our biggest interest is how to reduce the barriers to improve access. It requires the, the nurses, the coordinators to buy in. They also dedicate their time to these patients that are not within their system yet. That's the other thing. They're taking care of patients before they get to their transplant centers. They're working with their doctors. We're trying to work with their health systems, like when we're doing their medical workups. Sort of like our social worker, Susan, she seems to be able to work out a lot of things, resource-wise. Housing, transportation, um, sometimes some financial issues, which I can then tap into certain grants that are available to these patients. There is a lot of financial disparity that eventually leads to racial disparities as well. We need to offer the patient something to help them go through the process. When Dr. Okoda is there at the primary oncologist office, seeing the patients there and seeing them once a month like that, it's a physical reminder that he is part of the process from the very beginning and he's a partner with their primary oncologist. If they had to come here for a transplant, they probably would have to come here 10 to 15 times. If we went there and we did most of the work up there and they're coming to see you most of the time, they would only have to come here three times for the entire transplant. Their world has changed because of cancer, and so why can't we be here to help guide them through their journey? We make ourselves readily available. They can call us, the physicians can call us on our cell phones, the staff can call us, and we'll help them with whatever. We are available 24-7. Our compliance rate in getting back to the referring physicians would be somewhere in the 99% range. So our outreach program has actually increased our business, I would say, over 100%. The volume has definitely increased. When we first found out what Dr. Coda did in his community outreach approach, it was like a eureka moment. I was like, we must work with him right away. He's our case study. He is the person, when we share with community practice and transplant centers why we should be working together, he is our success story. You know, be the match, NMDP programs and these have been a wonderful support and without those we wouldn't have been able to help anybody. As a team, we all take pride in taking care of every single individual that comes. I mean, you know, we're not going out there looking for a diverse population. We're just going out there looking for someone who has the need. I think this is something that we are passionate about, we are proud about, but we at the same time, we think that it will only be helpful if others do something similar. It's very encouraging to see some of the big institutions start taking interest in this concept. No matter how hard the barriers are, he is going to be dedicated and do whatever he can to help that individual person.